Hi, Mark Savage here. We got a special treat for you today. It used to be in the olden days, $135,000 would buy you a new house. Now $135,000 would get you a new car. But what would you expect to have on a $135,000 car? That's still a lot of money. Let's take a look at this. I need probably expect something speedy, something fast, something that's got a lot of horsepower, something that's really exciting. And what we have for you today is a big Lexus sedan. This is the big Lexus LS 600 HL. That H stands for hybrid. And the hybrid uh, adds along with the big V8 engine it's got in here. This thing's got like 430 horsepower just with the V8 engine alone. Add the electrics in with that. This car's running right now. I've got it on, but it's all electric power at the moment. When you start out, the electric kicks in and gets you going, then that gasoline engine kicks in. As soon as you get on the accelerator, the V8 comes to life. The L means it's a little bit longer car. This is kind of like the limo version of the LS. Normal LS starts about $71,000. Rear wheel drive, V8 engine only. This thing, $135 with a lot of options. So what's that $135,000 get for you? Well, a lot of stuff that you'll see in here is what you see on any luxury car. You know, we've got a fancy little uh, analog clock here. Ooh, look at that, nice and round, very jewel-like. That's what they always tell us. Anyway, we got a navigation system. We have a, a little readout telling us our gas consumption for the last 10 minutes or so. A very nice dashboard, easy to look at. One of the things that I like, in addition to the wood trim on the wheel, little button over here I turn on press that heated steering wheel a little warmth right in here really nice in the winter time we also have a button over here I can press on the dash that will turn the headlight washers on so it squirts a little water on the headlights clean those off for you but what you're really paying for is some of the more mechanical systems that they put onto the car here this little knob in the center push that down and adjust your air suspension system that's on normal if I turn it a little bit to the left goes on to the comfort mode. I can tell you this is one of the smoothest riding cars I've been in for a long, long so time. So the big deal in the back seat, though, part of about a $7,500 optional system here is the Starship Enterprise control panel that we have right here. Target that explosion and fire. Fire! It's got every button imaginable, controls just about everything in the back seat, including massaging seats, extended uh, foot rests, and so forth. First thing you can do here is press this button. Back seat people, they don't have to have that sun coming in and bothering them too much. We got nice sunshades that go up, power sunshades front and rear, both side windows. You can adjust your own temperature back here in the back seat. Plus, you also have your own controls to heat and cool your back seat. So either way it can go. We've also got a number of buttons here that you can shift from left to right seat. This will put seats down. This will fold seats up. Part of the fun in the back seat is this massaging feature. You can press a button here. It goes up and down your back, massages you along with the heat that's in the seat. Down below here, though, we also have an ottoman that will pop up. Obviously, the guy in the front seat has to be forward a little bit. But this will come up, raise your legs up so you can relax in the back seat. It's heading out onto the road with the new Lexus LS 600H. I'm going to push the button here. We're going to start off in normal mode. The air suspension is adjusted now. It only takes a second or so. Go out onto the bumpy road. It's a really pleasant ride, even in the normal mode. Now I'm going to change it on over to comfort, because this is a particularly bad stretch of pavement. We've been on this one before. And while you can't get rid of all the bumps, it certainly smooths it out a little bit, makes it feel a little more comfortable. So a fancy Lexus, $135,000. Is it worth that? Gee, I don't know. If you've got $135,000, you've got to make that choice. A lot of nice cars. You've got a lot of choices for $135,000. But this is a delightful sedan to drive.